This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza for my normal life, uh, question mark. In this edition, I do a quick uh, overview of my experience for the last uh, mowing season for my Cub Cadet. And I, I'm going to give you a solid B. I would give it an A if it had a little bit more power. That's the only complaint I have about this unit. It's uh, very easy to maneuver except it does not like even the most modest grade. There's a certain section of my uh, front yard where I go up a little bit. It does not like doing that at the sort of, you know, back up, back up, and then eventually I go across at a certain angle. So it works out very nicely. Uh, my lawn right now is growing very slowly. It's uh, just after the uh, presidential elections, the week after, and uh, the lawn here in Texas in North Texas is growing super slow. So I'm thinking about mowing the lawn uh, next week. I usually mow the lawn every week, uh, but it's been about two weeks since I mowed it last. So it's gonna be about a, essentially three weeks uh, between from my last to my next mowing, if my brain works appropriately. So I'm gonna mow. This, the side here, that side, that side, that side, that side, all these different sides with this manu you know, very highly maneuverable, very compact uh, lawnmower. Again, if I had a bigger property and I had wider openings in my fences, I would get a bigger mower because it doesn't cost that much more to get a bigger mower, a bigger Cub Cadet or whatever brand of mower that you prefer. Uh, so. Again, uh, what am I going to do at the end of the cycle? I'm thinking about, uh, uh, the season rather, uh, I'm thinking about uh, trying to see if I can somehow get rid of all the gas from the engine so it's not just stale and stays in there. Either that or I'm going to have to turn on the engine every month and leave it running for about two, three minutes and uh, eventually it'll probably run out and or, or just stay in there and next season I'll just fill it up with gas. I'm not going to fill it up you know, high right now. I'm not filling it up at all. I'm just probably just going to do one more mowing for the season and um, next week and see how it works. After that, I'll have a video on how to do a, a tune-up. I'm essentially going to change the air and oil filter, change the oil, clean it up a little bit, and make sure it's uh, ready for the next season. Uh, again, the main reasons I like this lawnmower are, one, it fits through my fences. This fence is large, but the one up front is a brick fence. It's a very nice brick fence. And it fits barely, sometimes scrape it on the sides if I don't do it right, about an inch on each side. So that's how I do it. I can go through the back alley and go around. I guess I could do that, but yeah, that's more of a hassle. So I'm very excited. And that's the number one reason I bought this lawnmower. I would prefer more power. I prefer a wider deck but that's not possible with my modest home. And it also fits very neatly between my wife's Subaru and my Chevy truck in the garage. It gives us about good six inches on each side so I can just park it between the two and it could stay comfortably in my garage away from the weather and bad folks. You know, there are lawnmower thieves out there. I don't know who you are, but I'm keeping an eye on you, okay? So this is a very nice lawnmower. I give it a solid thumbs up. I give it a B. The only complaints are just my personal things, issues that I have. I wish I had a little bit more power, go a little bit faster, and uh, that's about it. Uh, I understand it's a 30-inch lawnmower, and this Cub Cadet, you know, works for me. Hmm. I wonder where I got that hair from. Maybe from my head or my beard. Who knows? So from Fort Worth, Texas, I hope you're having a great time. Again, I'm at the tail end of the uh, mowing season here in uh, northern Texas, where you're at. It might be already over, and in southern parts of the United States, it still has a ways to go. So again, from Fort Worth, Texas, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you have any, any, any questions about this uh, Cub Cadet, feel free to comment below in the description. Leave your kind and super friendly comments below the description. Any suggestions, you know. I'm gonna, you know, I hope to have this for, a few, you know, at least another five years. I'm hoping to take this uh, lawnmower from here when I move back to California in several years. I'm gonna haul it back with me and 
my, I have a big house here, 3,000 square foot, 4-3, on a, you know, third acre lot. In California, I'm going to probably move to some small town and have like a 2-2, two -two, you know, house, maybe 1,500 square feet on a small lot. Quarter acre, you know, quarter acre, maybe even less, you never know. Maybe even buy a condo. My wife and I are considering buying a condo. If you have any questions again, feel free to contact me. Leave your kind and super friendly comments below the description. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Asus Manuid Menegarasa from My Normal Life, question mark. Hope you're doing fine during the COVID-19 pandemic. It's no fun staying at home. I wish I was at the movie theater. I wish I was at restaurants. I wish I was out dancing at different events in the community and traveling around the state, uh, going to dance in festivals and stuff, but I'm not. I'm stuck at home. <sighs> it's pretty boring. You must admit it gets a little bit boring right now. Unless you're a boring person who likes to stay home, you know, it's not a change for you, but for me, it's I'm used to doing things and going out and about. Again, where am I at? I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.